everyone, welcome back. I'm Honeywell and we're playing Surviving the Aftermath. Uh, no time has passed since we last played. In the first episode, we took care of the most basic of needs. We got our food, water, and shelter in place. In the second episode, we opened the gate. Yay! And now the focus of today's episode, um, we need to get our production buildings in place before we need them. Now we chose a lush, this beautiful uh, lush map and the hardest settings, so we need to stay on top of these things. We only started with uh, two tools, two tools and two clothes. Now, of course, we might get lucky. Up, oh, we might get lucky and uh, pick up some more. But of course, we can't uh, count on that. Let's see what happens here. <gasps> Twelve metal in three parts. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, if we get more events like that, we could pick up some more tools and clothes and that will give us a little bit of uh, space, but we can't count on that. So we really need to get our production buildings in place uh, before that happens. I'd also like to get a sawmill in place before we run out of these easy to gather materials around camp. Uh, here's a little bit of road from my uh, planning spree. Now I have an idea of where I want uh, these buildings, uh, but I haven't uh, been meticulous about it. Now, I kind of like the idea of uh, putting a fishing dock over here. Um, our logging building. What did I miss on that? Did I miss something? I did. <laughs> it's bad to play these games while, um, while recording because you, you miss things while you're talking, or at least I do. Um, I want to put up our, our logging camp over here. I think our sawmill is going to go over here. And our little resource shed over here, our tent on this side, and our tool shed on this side is what I think. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Okay. So those are the goals uh, but we also need to stay on top of our uh, food water and housing and our first disaster should be coming up and that might influence the build order as well uh, so we're absolutely playing this episode by ear um, but getting our infrastructure in place is is our overarching goal and uh yeah we're not going to forget that uh first things first we only have uh two water Oh, and then we also have our specialists. I forgot about them. Um, but we're depleting our resources, so we want to keep gathering this stuff. How many do we have? Three planks there. We're going to draw a line, a road out to... out to this concrete deposit. That is good. And this also fits in with our plans, uh, the plans that I have for the map. I'm gonna mirror um, these tents on this side of this like water well on this side over here. Uh, so I kind of have an idea of what we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna draw that line out there and we only have two water in reserve. Now, if we get uh, a heat wave or a pandemic we might uh, be in some trouble there so we want to put in a another water bill well right now before we need it you know because that's just smart so we have that in place and can they still gather resources yes okay so let's go uh check out our guy here uh, yeah, we can go right up here. I like to um, work in circles. No, get out of here. Oh, so now we're going to have research to play too. There's so much going to be going on in this episode. Um, what are we going to do for our first bit of resource? Uh, research. Six planks. Some planks over here. Those berries are going. Okay, that's good. Now, part of, let me stop pausing. 
we're going to be putting in another small field here. Not because we need uh, more, necessarily need more food uh, for the colony, but potatoes are, are pretty much uh, this game's firewood for us. It's the resource that's easiest produced, um, easiest to produce early on. You know, kind of like a, in Banished where we would uh, uh, sell our, our firewood uh, to the traders. A lot of the people that come to the gate want produce, uh, so we want to have some on hand, if at all possible. It's really hard to keep anything, um, to reserve anything in this game. People just take it. <laughs> I really hope that they introduce like a, a trading post sort of mechanic where you can put things into reserve that you're, you know, earmarking for trading or, you know, just don't want colonists to use, but we will see. Um, as for food for the colony, we really need to get a source of meat coming in. Um, and that's why we have a, I kind of have like a, a fishing dock planned out, but we don't need that right now. We're only 10 people strong. But now that we have, how many, how much research was at that place? Like 300? That means decisions we can be making. So let's get these um, potatoes in the ground. Potatoes in the ground, and then the next step, do we have our well yet? No, the next, before we can start producing tools or, or clothes, we need a place to store them. Now we only started out with like these uh, tiny little pile of boxes that have our goods in them, but people can't store anything in them. So we need to get a warehouse up and running. This is a cute little shed. Uh, six, six wood, six concrete. And just, did we have all the, yes. Okay, so, uh, we'll let them work on all of these little projects and actually we'll speed it up a little bit. And 20, 20 metal. Let's take you out of there. Oh, it looks like we have somebody in the first aid tent. Let's take you out of there. 13 plastic. You know what? Let's take somebody out of there as well. We want all of these things to be... We want everybody working. Let's go uh, collect some research. So exciting. I've never found research so early. Now the first things Now the first things are pretty uh Okay, and it looks like do we have are we still gathering any resources? Still some planks. Still some planks over here. We really need to get some concrete coming in. Let's move. Well, let's just move all of this over here so we don't have to worry about it. Right? Right. Now, the research, we have two things. Now, usually, I kind of like um, communal eating. Um, but we're really pretty early in the game, and as soon as we start setting up cookhouses, they're going to eat into our potatoes, which we're hoping to use to trade with. So I think we're going to go down the communal living and education route for our first uh, 300 points. Now, education, it's not, it doesn't seem to, um, I haven't really noticed a difference, uh, but if anything, to boost our productivity... Um, would be nice. Now, the bad thing with the with the education is, honestly, I don't even know that it's working. Now, you have a stat over here where educated adults and students, but when you look on your colonists, when they go to school, um, they don't visit the schoolyard, the school building at all. They don't have like a little, um, a trait that lets you know that they were educated. 
So I'm really not sure that that is uh, that's implemented, but we are going to take the game at its word and pretend that it is. So if we do that, getting a school building up and running. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Let's slow this down. And all hands on deck here. Oh, it's being harvested now. These crops on the field do not matter if, um, do not count unless they are in this shed right here. And if this trader has anything for potatoes, we're not going to get anything. And a heat wave. Okay. Uh, double the amount of water but I and crops yields on open okay that is fine our first disaster is really easy for us because we're already producing double the amount of water we use 10 and we have 14 in reserve so we're already prepared for that but we really want to get these goods in place is there anybody else i can take off of a job and everybody is, of course, down here doing these resources that I add them. We're going to wait until the very last minute to hopefully we can get some of these uh, crops brought in. We have 12 potatoes? <laughs> here we go. Bring in the crops. Do that. This is crazy, and I don't even know that he has any potatoes uh, for sale. But let's uh, let's speed this up and see uh, and see what we can get in there. But no one is doing it. Is there anybody else that I have working on something that I can pull off? And we don't want to miss him because he might have like he might have some deal deposit depleted go bring in the crops guys all hands on deck oh it's not gonna happen well let's go out to the world map and collect some of our science this guy is really good he collects 200 science at a pop which is nice Hang on, guy. What happened to his van? <laughs> oh, it's on pause. Oh, there it is. And this is just not going to happen. Oh, he didn't have anything. Any he was going to offer us potatoes. Oh, if we had 23 potatoes, we could have got two medicine. That's a shame. No deal. See you later. Hopefully next time we'll be ready for you. Okay. So assess the situation here. So we have... Okay, we have materials being brought in. I don't know, does it matter which stockpile you assign the tasks to? Let's, um, let's assign this one to over here to, as well. So we're still holding out uh, well with uh, three tools and two clothes. We have our shed up. Let's do the school. Yeah, so let's get uh, communal living. We can build tenements. How much does a school cost? I've never had science this early it's only uh oh it's day six two days where where is the time going um school 16 10 and 14 okay we can do this and now i already said that they don't go to uh they don't go to the school so it really doesn't matter where you place this but this building is super cute and I like to put it in on the fence and have it be part of 
and have it look like part of the um, the line of cars on the gates here. Just a little uh, decorative thing that I've told you that I've uh, uh, played this game, started it a million times. Yeah, let's uh, let's resume that. And then up next, it looks like we need clothes next. So let's get our little tent. Our little tailor, we need six plastic, 10 wood, four concrete. We're gonna have enough for this as well. But let's not over, uh, let's leave a little gap and then we can put in like a decoration in between these. Maybe. No matter what we do, it's gonna be ugly. Nobody's gonna come get the crops, are you? Oh, let's, um, one day left. Let's harvest the corn now. Because what, the corn says, the little tool tip for the corn says, uh, very low endurance against catastrophes, and we have a heat wave uh, coming. So let's just uh, harvest and get in our little bit of corn that we can. Uh, so we're getting the school built. We have enough materials for our tailor. What about the tool shop? Let's put somebody back on collecting metal again because it looks like that's what we're using. And our tool shop, I thought we could put right back here next to the stockpile. Now these are probably temporary. I don't know how this will play out but, oh, actually we should put it, we should line it up with the school, right? Look at me being ridiculous. Yeah, that's fine. And let's pause that. What are you doing out here, guy? Um, we could use that plastic, but that would waste a turn. So let's go over here. One defense. One attack. I don't know. Do we want to waste our turns trying to hammer him down? Well, I guess that'll that'll be a decision for uh, for next time, right? Heat wave one day. Kids, you're going to school. Just so you know. Let's make this go a little faster. Um, the sound, I'm not sure that the sound effects of this game are coming uh, across to you guys, but it's really nice. Uh, the wind, the water, the like, uh, I don't know, like insects. It's good. It's all good. Now, the, the game is not finished and there's a lot that needs, that I think needs to be done. But it's really... Once we got, they patched out the bugs where everyone kept getting stuck and dying, uh, I have to say this has been uh, really enjoyable for me. Okay, so we have the school. Let's do the tailoring. All the while collecting our resources, correct? 12. We still have a bit of concrete. We could use more planks though, which is, means we need our sawmill. So let's, now our next group of, our next group of research is going to be uh, the feud. Uh, we'll want communal eating and if we can manage it, advanced farming would be good. I'd also like to um, try out bartering now I've put in one of these stations and I didn't see it do anything, but if we could 
I've never tried to play, um, grow more potatoes with the thought of trading either. So I really kind of want to get a trade center uh, up and running. And it looks adorable too. Do you see how you have like this school over here? Um, I put the trade center like on the fence too. I like it. Um, but now I planned on having our cookhouses right here on this line. I don't know if we, I think we're going to wait for somebody who has good attack speed or a good attack and let them go after that. Because you could spend, I, I, I'm not even kidding, I could spend like three turns just trying to wail on that guy. No way. Four, we're going to have 500 research points. So much research. I'm not ready for it. Uh, we're going to take it though, but I'm really not ready for it. So 500 research. Yes, go down the river. Let them try. Eight planks and five parts. Good job, guys. That is good. Eight parts. That's what you need for uh, for some electricity. Okay, we have the tailor up and running. Um, uh -huh. Let's let them make a bring that up to three. Let's get the tool shed. This is going really smooth. We're lucked out with our first disaster. If it had been like a pandemic or nuclear fallout, we would have had to um, put in like another tent, um, put in some uh, alternate food source, which we really should be doing anyway. I think maybe that's what we need to do. I want a sawmill, but there's really, there's still uh, planks on the map, even if we have to go a little far afield for them. So the sawmill is probably our last concern. Let's get the fishing dock next, because they need fish to be healthy. And, and it'll be a steady source of, of food that d is not impacted by disasters. What do we need? Oh, we still need more concrete. Okay. Specialist ready for action? What is your name? Porter? Porter. Um, yeah, get the science. I was thinking that we really don't need the science right now and we could use that plastic. But yeah, I want the science because I'm greedy. It's so good. Okay, a fishing hut. Tool shop, good job. Um, infected. Ethan. Why you gotta be infected, Ethan? Um, the tools, we don't need a... With three, we only have 10 colonists, so three tools is fine. We're going to take him off there just so we can free up the labor. And we are going to take her out of here, open up the recycler. And the disaster effects are just beautiful. And there's our third coal coat, so let's take him off there. Like the environmental, like the... This, the noise, the like atmosphere is like pretty pretty awesome. Plank deposit. We still have 15 more planks coming in. We'll be fine. Okay, and now let's do our fishing dock that we were we were doing when we were so rudely interrupted. Right here is good. Are we ready for that? 
10 and 6. Specialist ready for action. Small group at the gate. Oh, if this is a specialist, that would be amazing. Okay. We're at a dilemma here. I really don't want these people. I'm going to save our... Bye. Don't read it. It'll be bad. I am going to save our refugees for uh, groups of people that come with specialists. Um, because the map, you can't... Like, there's... There's limited resources and there's no way to um, continue your colony late game. You'll run out of metal, you'll run out of plastic, uh, fiber, all of that stuff. There's no way to trade for any of this stuff. So growing your colony too fast is just ending the game faster, <laughs> pretty much. And I'm enjoying it, so I am talking to you. Uh, so I'm in no hurry to uh, to grow our city uh, faster than than need be. Long story short. Yeah, go ahead and do that. And how much science? And we have 477, soon to be 500 science points. But you know what? Instead of this right here gives us paved roads and a memorial. Let's do it. Oh, and I just put in this big, huge, long road too. Uh, but we're gonna do it, like no time like the present. Paved roads, an improved road that makes moving around the colony even faster and easier. So uh, yeah, let's do that. We want that. And this is uh this is all about the infrastructure, so this actually uh plays in perfectly with the episode. I was not expecting to get science so early. Do we need to do this one over here? No, we don't. Let's not be crazy. Okay, so we're gonna have that, and now we have 227 more fishing hut, good. I hope we get another group soon, and I didn't just, you know, cut off my nose there. We could have used those four colonists, but you know. Oh, and we have four tools. Nice, three clothes, four tools, buildings in place. We have somebody working on plastic. Our first disaster, even though there's a disaster going on, it's not a disaster. It's like a it's a, like a non-event. Porter bringing in this mad science. I am talking to you. And now we still have 300 more science to go. We can come over here, bring in that plastic, head home, or should we just go for the plastic and home? probably plastic at home while we can still use it. Okay, next up. Oh no. Four coats and four tools plus all of this food and we could use the help desperately. Do we break our roll? I think we do. I really wish there was a specialist here. I'd love to get somebody else out on the map, but all of that food and the tools and the clothes, it's too good not to. Come on in, guys. Thanks for all your loot. So good. Um, so now that we have a little bit of extra help, let's get somebody on back bringing in the metal. We have somebody automatically fishing. Hopefully they can bring in bring in those crops because we still have no food in our thing which means we have too much work going on so let's not be working on something that we don't need right now 
And even the fishing, we don't need this fish right now. Let's get, oh, and we can close out this tent. Let's get everybody working on, on the roads and bringing in the supplies from the field. Uh, speaking of, now, how did I want this? I wanted to go up one and leave a space so it's like the other side. So not here, but here. And then come around to this, the fishing dock. And then do you see like this kind of like the variation in the ground? I thought we could put a path right out here and have our uh, planks depleted. That's why we want to get our sawmill in. Where are we at with this? Only 36 more of that, but we have no more planks earmarked. Uh, you know what, we're not gonna collect them because I'm having them do a lot of work as it is. So let them catch up, especially with all these roads. There's a pile of planks too. Now what are we gonna do with our science? We could do, we could do advanced farming and get bigger um, crop fields, which are better. But we could also do bartering and get the gate. Maybe we do communal eating we really want to have this. I mean, it could be, we have to get this. I don't know when the next time we'll find more research. And you really want to use the cookhouse. The cookhouse is amazing because it, uh, it, you can use it to pretty much double your food, uh, which is a really good thing. We want that. But advanced farming, the larger size fields, we can wait on that, even though I like them and want them. Yeah, let's go ahead and this might be completely useless, but it's a game, right? We're learning. Let's get the Trade Center. Yes, do it. It's done now. We're going to get the Trade Center. How much does that cost? 10, 5, 20, Oh, and there's our disaster over. This is gonna cost a lot of resources. Let's get the sawmill first, and then we'll do the trade center. But I'm pretty excited for that. We're still, we have all of those tools and clothes because of that people that came through, which is really nice. Uh, I hate this one so much. Here's the thing. Now, if you punish one or the other, you'll like half the colony will be upset. If you let them fight, the entire colony will let them upset. Um, if you give them medicine, everyone will be happy, but you'll lose two medicine. But if you don't give them medicine, it doesn't matter because they're going to get injured and they're going to go over to your first aid kit. So I, I want this medicine for seeds, but yeah, just give them the medicine. Yeah, great. I'm glad you're all happy because I'm miserable now. Shoot. I was really hoping that we would get somebody along with some seeds and we'd have the medicine for that, but it was not to be. Okay. Oh, nope. Keep going. Keep working on these roads. Let's get our sawmill in. I bumped it. Oh, maybe those planks are in the way. Nope. Specialist. You can't get there in that turn. Okay, come over here. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Go over here. Explore that. Bricks, oh, this is so lucky. Do we get the bricks? Do we bring in the bricks and the plastic and then go home? He's um, really good at scavenging too, so he like 
no, or maybe he's re good at research. <laughs> I was gonna say, he's really good at uh, savage, uh, scavenging, so he'll bring in like a big pile of stuff, but I don't know that he is. Um, sawmill. Those planks might be in, in the way. Do it. Six wood, six concrete, ten metal. Yes, go ahead and uh, get that in place. And then I guess we might as well earmark our, well, our cookhouses. I would like to see to make sure that they'll, um, I thought we could put them right in front of these fields here. So we could have a cookhouse here, and then when it, we need one, we could have a cookhouse here. And they'll be right close, all in line for that food building right there. And then I thought we could put the logger right over here somewhere. But let's see, we're going to have a path going up this way. Well, let's put in the path, and then we can put in a shared stockpile. It would be like a little stepping stone path. You know what? I'll leave that like that. If I leave it like this, it'll be like little circles. But I'm really not sure if they run, if they get the movement speed on like the little circles, or if I need to go ahead and fill them in. Construction complete, sawmill. Good job, just in time. Specialists? You're such a good specialist. I think we need plastic first. Yeah, go get the plastic. Oh, but if he blew himself up, then he could be healed. Ah, oh, mistakes were made. Dumb. Dumb, Honeywell. Okay, are we getting the roads? Okay, we have the sawmill, and I want somebody in there gathering planks, but let's get them gathering from the right area. Now, I'm going to try and leave... You know what, I would like the planks. Let's get some uh, easy, clear some of those trees right there because I want another farm field. And we just depleted our concrete ruin already. Wow. Wow. Okay, we need more resources. Um, where is good concrete? Oh, well. Let's go up in this area. Like, what is that? 20, 40. Let's get that concrete and be done with it. Yes. Nine potatoes. It's not working out for us. You know what? Let's just put in another, let's put in another farm right now. Because I'm going to be putting this trading center in, and if we don't have potatoes, then, uh, then what's the point? This is probably like a mistakes were made. It'll be like a, don't do this kids, it's not a good plan. Yeah, go there. Go there, and as much... How much does the logging camp cost? Ten and six? 
let's do the logging camp before we uh, we do that trade center because that trade center is kind of like a luxury I think um, but let's do do we have this path over here let's um we want to put in a shared stockpile over here and that path is going there so maybe maybe right there pause that though because I might not want it there and then what would the logging look like I couldn't I had this in my mind but since I didn't have like the science unlocked I couldn't really see it so uh, so this might not stay Maybe put this over one little bit more. No, I think it has to go there. <laughs> I crack myself up that I spend so much time planning this stuff and actually enjoy it very much. And it matter. I know it does not matter at all, but do you think I'd stop myself? That's right there and then where would the cookhouses be because i thought this could look neat like you could go, kind of like go up here and you'd have like a little fishing dock and then these buildings over here let's just go with it do it let's get some potatoes and now let's go see who's at the gate do you want potatoes Me and my potatoes. Uh, Dr. Wizard, yeah, nobody is sick. See you later. If people were sick, I'd absolutely accept that because you know, you never know. Let's get somebody back in the fishing, fishing cod so people aren't sick. I mean, we're really doing. Let's get somebody back on metal. We're good for tools and clothes. Yeah, but we're producing food. We have a ton of people working on potatoes. This better pay off for us. Go over here and get blown up before you uh, before you come home. Might as well. And now. Now, 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 now. Now I think we want to do... Well, do you know what? I don't think that we want to do anything else. I just noticed the time. The time flies. We have... Stone roads. We have the ability to make clothes, make tools. We are producing our own planks now. And let's, let's move this work area and get these like a, uh, and get these easy resources right here. Do we have a little stepping path? They're still working on that, but they'll have like a little stepping path out here. So let's uh, help them along, get some more roads. Is this the front of your building? Where is your, oh, is that just a dead spot? Oh, well, that's disappointing. Well, that's stupid. Let's just remove that block. And now we have somebody getting firewood. Uh, but this is this is a good place to end the episode. I think we'll do, well, you know what? Let's do, no. <laughs> Way to be decisive here. Um, I think this is a good, 
stopping point, we have all of our infrastructure in place, just like we were hoping to. We got more than we bargained for with um, getting a school up and running. I was not expecting that at all. Um, stone roads. And it looks like it's part of the barricade. Yeah, I like it. And we have the ability to um, to put in a cookhouse. So for the next episode, we'll want to go ahead and do that. We'll put in a, a cookhouse and get in our trading center and see if we can't turn some of these potatoes into much needed goods. Look at that. 41 potatoes. They're going to be harvesting that now. That's amazing. So hopefully we'll be rich, guys. Uh, but yeah, that is all for now. Um, thank you so much for watching, for your likes and your comments. I do appreciate them. Um, of course, I don't monetize my channel in any way. So when I put up these videos, if no one watches them, it makes me feel bad because I'm like, why am I putting these up? <laughs> anyway, so I appreciate that and I appreciate you guys. Um, but that is all for now. I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.